everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. I am here with my second June haul. It's not very big. I thought I would show you a few more things that I picked up in June so I can get them put away. Um, a few supplies and a few books, so it won't take long to go through them all. <clears throat> um, this is Spock Bear. This is actually my mini Spock Bear. I have a full-size Spock Bear that's like yay big. Like a normal size stuffed animal bear size. <laughs> um, he has his own Facebook page and he travels around with me and I take pictures with him and he goes on adventures and um, I haven't done anything. I realized I hadn't done anything with him for a couple years because, well, you know, nobody did anything for a couple of years. And I really, um, I thought I should get him out. He could be my channel mascot and I can start going on adventures and posting with him again. So say hi to Spock Bear. Uh, if you can tell who my favorite Star Trek character is, <laughs> I won't tell you. <laughs> anyway, supplies. Um, so I did a separate video on these. If you're interested, um, I bought these. I saw them on Amazon. I was interested. It was a really good price. I was impressed with what I got in the box for what I paid for them. It was beautiful. It was really well done. Um, so if you're interested, I'll link the video in the description and you can watch. Um, this box is empty because I'm going to throw it away. I just saved it for the video, but you in the video I open it up and you can see what's inside. Um, it came with a watercolor pad, which is actually smooth paper. It's more like my marker paper, but I like it because I don't really like watercolor paper. Um, and it comes with a few pictures in the front, which I thought was really nice. Um, they're by IGN Art. Um, it comes with a stand. And this set comes with 60 markers. It says 65 pieces, but um, it comes with 60 markers. These are the duplicate colors. Um, brown, green, yellow, blue, red, and black, which I also thought was nice. You also get a, a couple different size liners and a white gel pen along with the stand. Um, it also comes with two water brushes, which I also um, put in the video. I used them in the video. And here is the swatch chart for them. I thought they were really pretty. Um, I'm gonna try coloring with them. Actually, I did in my video kind of do a little bit of coloring and blending with them. on This is untreated paper, so um, I really, I like them for what they are. Are they professional? Are they, you know, um, I mean, my Tombos will always be my favorite, <clears throat> but I thought these were really nice and I'm really enjoying them. So they are sitting on my desk. Right now. And uh, like I said, I'll link the video for that where I test them out. Um, and if you're interested, you can watch. So, so um, someone told me, or <clears throat> I was watching someone's video, and I thought it was Linda Learns to Color, but now I'm not sure. But anyway, um, a lot of people have got the pip squeaks, and I wasn't going to because. Me and water-based markers have a thing. Although, I will tell you, if you haven't watched Doodle Robot's completed pages for June, she will change your mind. And her images, I mean, Doodle Robot, if you watch this, and I'm going to comment in your video, but your pictures are amazing and I want you to teach me everything that you do. <laughs> Because you color like I want to. <laughs> but anyway, um, someone else. That was like a total left field right there. Um, so I bought the Crayola Pipsqueaks because I, the person whose channel I was watching said they have color names. And they're using them in their Disney books, which I could. The problem is, is that I have, I have super tips. But... And I even, at one point, swatched them out, figured them out, labeled them with numbers, and it's just a giant pain in the butt. Um, <clears throat> I wish Crayola would put names on all of their markers, because they all have names. This is awesome. 
Crayola is amazing for doing this. Um, I have a little swatch chart if you want to see the colors. I got this from Jenny's Crayon Collection. It's free. Um, so I swatched them all out. Um, this is the colors that's in there and I am going to try using them because they're easier for me to use than the regular super tips because they're easier for me to find the colors that I want. So I know it's just something weird about me. I can't really explain it. Um, we all have our thing, right? My um, water-based marker <laughs> thing continues. Last thing I got was um, someone told me, and I don't remember who it was, <laughs> that, oh, Art and Fly has a 120 set of pencils, which I didn't know. I have the 72 set. So uh, they had a coupon, which I think they might still have going. And I didn't open them because I literally just got them. And they come in a case. It's normally like $40 and they had like a 15% off coupon. So I thought that was pretty good. Comes with a case and everything. So here are the pencils. I'm excited to swatch out all of the new colors. Um, these aren't my favorite kind of cases, but you know what? It'll be fine. Eventually, like someday, if I have an extra case, um, like I have a set of pencils that I'm not going to reorder maybe, um, I will take them out. I haven't swatched these. Do I have somewhere? No, I only I had the 72 set swatched. Um, so I've got to decide what to do with those, just use them as extra pencils or what, um, which is nice. It's an extra, an extra, extra set. But anyway. <clears throat> so that was all the supplies, I think. Let me grab all of these books here. <sighs> so, um, if you didn't know, I used to be a Greyhound mom. I still would be today if my life wasn't busy, we're gone a lot. Um, I love greyhounds. They are, um, to me, there is nothing like watching a greyhound run. They are the only breed of dog mentioned by name in the Bible, if you did not know that. Um, but it has to be like the King James Bible because they all keep revising them. Um, I saw this and I was intrigued and, uh, I only have one other greyhound coloring book. So I wanted to pick it up because it was really nice. I have not... As of this video, I haven't done a, a flip through, um, but by the time this haul goes up, either there will be one already up or I'm going to do one um, because I don't think a lot of people have this book. And I will put a couple of pictures. I'll see if I can find a digital picture of Batman it was my first Greyhound. Um, I've had three. I had Batman, uh, Midas, and Coach. <laughs> Uh, so I will see if I can insert at least pictures of Midas. I know I have pictures of him digitally, um, but you know, in the nineties, I didn't quite have a cell phone camera. They weren't as popular as they are now. Um, so then I got, uh, Michelle from Kids and Caboodles was like, oh, I, I'm going to do a flip of this. And cause I ordered it. I'm like, there was a new Camellia Angel cover book. I totally missed it. So I ordered it. Of course, because I just, I don't have all of her books, but I order definitely all the miniatures and the mandala, the themed mandala ones. I got, um, Insect Mandala Circulism Art Book, because I love these. It's really pretty. It's new. Another one that is fairly new is Asili Zuri Best Circulism. Ugh. And this one is like kind of like close up faces of animals, which is really neat. Um, uh, a lot of, I will explain that part of what I've been doing is looking at my wish list and just picking up books that I am either going to get them or I'm going to take them off my wish list. 
because they've been there for a while. Um, and I think this was the only mosaic art pattern book by Sachi and Sachi Deva I didn't have because I'm not really into patterns, but I'm starting to kind of want I, some of them I like. So I, I really decided I liked this one. Oh, I do not have Inside Home, but I'm not going to get that one. I'm not interested in it. I like the smaller ones. I love the sea creatures. That was the very first one I got, and one would think I'd be done with it right now, but I'm not. Um, but I like the smaller, because these two are bigger squares, and I really like the smaller. So I think the first two he came out with were 4 by 4s and these are 3 by 3s I've been a fan of Such and Such Diva for a long time. <laughs> um, then I got the brand new um, Amazing Birds by Belva Family, which you can't see anything really, but it says there's a new palette, which I'm interested in to see what they changed. I didn't look, I didn't compare. Um, I think one of the, the, there's a couple of flip throughs or on, on YouTube and um, I know somebody was talking about it but I was watching it without the sound on because I was busy. Don't ask, my life is crazy. I picked this one up because I do have the review copy but I like books. Um, so I've been trying to collect the actual books when I can. Sun Life Drawing, one of my favorite color by numbers. Um, then, let me see that one. I picked up another Belva Family. I got a few Belva Families that had been on my list for a while. Um, the only Square Mandala book I had was the Halloween one, which I got last Halloween and didn't do anything in. So um, I got Lisa's Garden because it looked really pretty. So I'm anxious to do stuff in there. And then I got party patterns. See what I mean? I'm in the pattern mood. I think because this is small, you know, the patterns won't... I'll like it more. Then I picked up the new Christmas in July coloring book by Ava Brown, which is adorable. I did a flip through on this. <laughs> I love his... His flamingo friend is just adorable. That goes with him on all of his adventures. A little crab friend. But this is super cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I was at a National Parks store. You can get this from Dover. Um, but I was in a National Parks store and I saw this and I was buying things. Because I like to support my National Parks by buying stuff at their store. And so I picked this up because I liked it the best of all the coloring books. Um, it was really cute. And I don't, I have, I only have a couple of double-sided ones from Dover, but this one was really pretty. So I'm excited about that one. Then I picked up Anxiety Relief Coloring Book for Adults by Morgana Sky. I've also done a flip through of this. It is gorgeous. It's probably the first anxiety relief book I've actually liked. Um, I love all of those images. This is one of my favorite styles of art in these books. Then I completed my uh, Ellen Jarecki com collection. Um, there are three house mouse coloring books. There's one Happy Hoppers, which is Bunny Rabbits, and this one. And this was the only one that I didn't have. So I picked it up. These are adorable. I love these books. Um, they're very thin. There's not a lot in there, but there doesn't have to be. Um, I did a flip through of this also. I love, I love her books. She hasn't done any new ones for a while. Um, but this one was also on my list. Um, Mermaids, obviously, it's been around for a while, but um, I said either I'm gonna get it or I'm not and I really like it so I picked it up I love um, Jade Summers grayscale then I got the new Joshua Dunbar there is a flip of this on my channel uh, 80s um, the totally outrageous book by Joshua Dunbar 80s new wave adult coloring book so if you are a kid in the 80s um, so much of this will be like, whoa, flashback. I mean, the prom totally had 
poofy sleeves. I didn't. Well, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If I can find a digital picture, because I was in the prom in the 80s. Um, if I can find a digital picture, I will put a picture of me in a prom dress <laughs> in here. Because why? Because I'm crazy like that. But yeah, all of this is just amazing. It was a great, this is a great book. And let's see, next to last, I got Runny Rainbow's new one, Magnificent Mushrooms. Um, I love all the little hidden squirrels in some of these. There's, they'll, they'll stick squirrels in in different places. They're not in all the pictures, but you'll often see a little random squirrel, and it's so funny. Uh, so the only one of theirs I do not have is Magnificent Ocean or something like that, I think, which I do need to pick up. And then lastly, this was Happy Mail from a dear friend who I don't know if she wants me to mention her name, but uh, she sent me out of the blue the Disney um, mas mascotes, so it's Spanish. Um, and I haven't done a flip of this. If anybody wants one, I'd be happy to do one. This is really cute. Um, I love it. It's adorable. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. I can't wait to do one out of here. I don't think it'll be in July. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. This was like a an incredible surprise, especially for as much as she's been going through. Um, I appreciate her friendship so much. So, and that is it. I told you it would be fast. Um, we'll see what happens next month. But anyway, new videos coming. Um, I thank you for watching. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.